Welcome to Mosquito Fleet Mondays, where we look at prominent vessels in Puget Sound history. Today, we'll be looking at the steamship Tacoma. The Tacoma was launched in 1913 at the Seattle Construction and Dry Dock Company. The Puget Sound Navigation Company had requested a fast, steel-hulled passenger vessel for the Seattle to Tacoma route. So a 209-foot ship with a top speed of 21 and a half knots, or 25 miles per hour, was delivered. This made the Tacoma the fastest single-screw passenger vessel ever to operate in commercial service. She had a four-cylinder, triple-expansion steam engine rated at 3,750 horsepower and could carry 1,250 passengers. The ship was also equipped with a Nickelodeon theater, though it was discontinued after it was found that passengers preferred to watch the Puget Sound scenery to watching film shorts. Placed under the command of Captain Everett B. Coffin, who had previously been the master of the ship flyer, the Tacoma made the run from Seattle to Tacoma in an hour and 15 minutes. Captain Coffin was extremely proud of his new vessel, describing her abilities as such. Previous to becoming master of the SS Tacoma in 1914, I had been mate and master of the SS Flyer for 12 years, and I was a little doubtful if the Tacoma could equal the workings of the Flyer. But I soon found out that the Tacoma was superior in every point. She was faster and much easier to handle, and as for time, she could be depended on to the second. Day in and day out, her time between points, allowing for tidal conditions, was the same, and in making landings at different piers, it was like landing a rowboat. Her reversing power was wonderful, and from full ahead to dead stop required 17 seconds, a feat that was tried several times. Going astern, she was almost as fast as ahead when she would gain in speed. Another point she had, when emergency required a sudden reversal, by a slight change in the rudder she could be held in perfect position until she commenced to gain sternway. Then she would crawl rapidly to port. Her abilities on the points mentioned often prevented accidents in the fog. Unfortunately, even her speed couldn't protect the Tacoma from competition against highways. In 1928, the Seattle-Tacoma Highway opened, and soon people preferred to drive their personal automobile between Seattle and Tacoma than to ride a passenger steamer. The Tacoma made her last voyage on the route on December 15, 1930. The scene was described by historians Newell and Williamson. The Tacoma and the Indianapolis passed a little south of Three Tree Point. Captain Coffin pulled down a window and leaned out in the driving rain. The Indianapolis floated by, a dozen squares of light topped by a star. She spoke three long, lingering blasts. Captain Coffin reached for his own whistle cord, three long blasts. And he let the last blast die away slowly, until it was only a moan in the throat of the whistle. That's the last time we pass each other, he said. After this, the Tacoma moved to passenger and excursion service, doing sightseeing trips around the Puget Sound. This lasted until 1938, when the ship was sold to the Seattle Iron and Metals Corporation for scrapping. The end of the Tacoma also truly marked the end of passenger steamer service on the Puget Sound. In a few short years, every steamer route was replaced by an automobile-carrying ferry, or eliminated altogether by roads.